Hello there guys, welcome to Lunar's World and we have another X-Plane 11 video for you today and it's a bit, a, bit of a dreary day here in uh, Poland we're at uh, the Chopin International Airport where I was um, obviously just doing the um, the Lot Airways Flight 16 video which you should definitely check out if you haven't already um, it's my most uh, crazily, epically in terms of editing, the most difficult video I've done uh, and I did some voiceovers as well with a dodgy Polish accent which are, might be worth uh, checking out but anyhow we're here because I've had a request to show you guys how to uh, set views up and um, to be honest it's incredibly simple but I'm going to talk you through it and it's going to take a very short amount of time we're going to do a quick circuit I'll show you the beautiful scenery which is provided by uh, Drzecki Designs and um, oh by the way I've got a new aircraft we're in the Lance Air legacy um, FG which at the time of this recording was on a daily deal in the flight sim flight in the X-Plane org um, store uh, I think I got 30% off or something like that so I thought I'd get it and it's a lot of fun so anyway right this is what we want to do we want to get a nice um, accurate authentic view from the perspective of the left seat, the captain's seat. So you can do that by using your arrow keys, basically to go up, to go down, and to go left and to go right. All fairly straightforward. And then once you've found your view, you can basically press control and then um, a number on your numerical keypad, like number one, and that is that view locked. So say now we want a close-up view of our instruments like that, maybe a little bit over here so we get the uh, the lights and stuff in um, and which aren't modelled I've just noticed. Hang on. Oh they are, they are. I lie. So say we want that view, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Again you just press control and the two or whatever number you want to assign it to now we want a good old view of the radio stack here in the GPS system so we might get in a little bit closer bring this up that's pretty nice and then control 3 say we want a pretty detailed view of the um, engine and fuel control 4 for that one and we want a wing view out of this side just because we can control 5 and uh, let's just go back to there and we'll do a wing view this side control six and why not let's have a passenger view in the back here not that this has got um, uh, seats in right now but that's kind of cool let's do that control seven and we could do the same this side like that control 8 okay let's go back to here so how am I moving about so as I said up and down left and right um, how do you go forwards and backwards well the full stop key in if you're English or the period key if you're American is gonna bring you in or move you forward like that and the comma key is going to move you backwards like that okay so that's pretty straightforward so comma f um, uh, period key for in comma key for out now we've also got some head movements we can press Q which will turn our head to the left and E which will turn our head to the right and we've also got up and down which is R and F so that is if you don't want to use the mouse control obviously um, to use the mouse control you click on the uh, right button and then you move your mouse around freely and you've got this great uh, view here so I'm just going to recenter that um, we are going to taxi on out actually this could do with coming up a little bit and uh, I'm going to show you these I'm going to show you the scenery because it's very nice this airport, the detail in this airport is absolutely incredible. So I hope that makes sense. It really is pretty straightforward um, and it's very intuitive once you get used to it. And it, it does all the, most of the things that EasyDoc 
the older version of Easy Dock does. Um, I know they just brought out a new one, which I haven't checked. Obviously, that's for prepared. Um, so, yeah, and I think there is a uh, an add-on for some flat down, for views in X Plane 11, but why would you use it? I don't really know because unless it does some really ultra cool things, I've never seen the need to uh, to use one. I've never even bothered looking at what it does do. So there you go. So I can't even give you that information. Um, because it does everything that I needed to do in within the sim. Which is pretty cool. So let's just try and get straight here and then uh, like I said, we'll just um, take off and I'll show you these views in action and you'll see the beautiful views of uh, Walsall, again provided by Drizeki Designs, who very kindly donated the um, scenery to me. Let's just get rid of that. Alright, so we've got our left passenger view out here, let's put our flat cap. And of course, once you're in that position, I'm using my hat switch on my um, uh, side tech yoke, just to tweak things if you want to. Let's go this side, very nice. This side is more interesting. And let's have a look at our engines. Our engines are doing good. Let's have a look at our outside view. That's pretty sweet. Oh, I haven't shown you how to do that. I will though. There's our wing view. Let's have a look at our instruments close up. That's number two. Radios. You get you get the point. So it's very cool. Very intuitive, very easy to use. So I'm loving this aeroplane by the way. It's so so much fun. Now, you might have noticed we had a, a really nice wing view outside. Let me try and find it again. I think it was that one, yeah. Um, so this is like a camera or something stuck on the wing and angled in a bit. So pretty cool, kind of cinematic shot there. How do you get that? Well, this is using the free camera mode. So I just press C. And then we go off into the distance. So what free camera does is that it gives you all the same controls, but it frees you of the uh, the aircraft. So as you can hear, our aircraft is gone somewhere up there. But this is how you get the ground views and all the cinematic views where airplanes can come over the uh, the threshold and you know the runway and stuff like that. And maybe um, you want an opening view in your new video where you've got you know. You're showing off some of the scenery and you've got some traffic and uh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> but um, that's how you do it. You press C and of course you can assign these uh, views as well. Which is very cool. Now if I press 1, that'll take us right back into the uh, cockpit of the plane. So you can get really creative with it. Uh, with, especially with free view or free camera I should say. Because, um, yeah, the, the possibilities are literally endless. So there's a big old industrial uh, chimney thing. We need to stay clear of that. But look at that city. How incredible. I'm not just saying this because they sponsored uh, the video. They're not actually sponsoring this, but I'm obviously using the scenery. Um, I think their scenery is generally absolutely superb. Um, and really, really friendly on frame rates. It doesn't kill your frames like a lot of scenery does. And, um, and it just looks great. looks fantastic. So I highly recommend you go and check them out. Um, and uh, yeah, try out some of their stuff. Because I think you'll... Because I think you'll really love it. Alright, now, what we're going to do is... Um, basically head back to uh, Chopin International and try and land this thing. So I hope that's been useful. Um, 
and uh, I just urge you to try it out and get used to uh, you know trying out the different views you could have multiple views for the captain you know so you could have one for landing that's sort of higher you could have one that's you know centered on your um, your uh, instruments you can have one that is sort of I don't know down to fuel whatever you want to do it's very flexible so I hope that's been useful and um, yeah we will just try and land this interesting uh, aircraft and go and try it out Okay guys, so I appreciate you being here. I hope that's been useful as I said. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to land this plane. I'm going to say my goodbye now. And um, yeah, just enjoy the approach into uh, Chopin International's stunning, stunning scenery by Drizeki Designs. And um, if you've got any more tips you want to share, maybe I'll do a quick video of outside views at some point. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you very soon. All right, guys, take care.